So basically, the main question for me right now is like, ask you like, tell me more, who are you? What you represent in uh, like this company? What is your position? Something about you. Um, okay. Uh, hello guys, my name is Thiago. Um, now I am CEO in the company Touch Solutions. It's a company about technology. We develop anything about uh, uh, apps or software developers' webs. And uh, we have another a new model. We search in the, the market for people work in your company. So we like uh, outsourcing. It's the same thing. Uh, and uh, now... Now, these years, last years, I started to become investor, uh, in, in, investor angel, uh, we call it Brazil. And uh, last years, we built a new association, it's called SC Angels, SC because it's Santa Catarina, uh, Santa Catarina, Brazil. And uh, we have a focus to invest in, in startups early stage and uh, put money and uh, take it to like uh, more smart, smart technology for any people to uh, help to grow up these, these startups. Great, great. Thank you. I'm shortly introduce myself because I didn't do it uh, now and probably you don't remember me uh, in a startup conference when I was there. Um, so basically, I'm Anton Goski. So uh, I built online school for business developers and I help uh, other companies to launch uh, in new market like in Brazil, Latam region, Men region, India, uh, APAC. So it's like different regions. So this was one of the uh, meetup which I tried to organize. So uh, some other companies, foreign companies know more about the market and then they can ask you some questions. So probably it's going to be beneficial for you because you can be as an investor, you can find uh, new, I know, projects and it's be beneficial for them as well because they learn more. So um, I'm not sh going to share with other people because probably it's going to be more people soon. Uh, so let, let's just start. Um, wait, as I understand that you're an early stage uh, investor right now, right? So it's like one year basically. Okay, so how many investors in this association did you organize, like in this, in, uh, an angel? Yeah, uh, we have, uh, we started last year and we, we invested in two startups now, but we invest, uh, we have a lot of, a lot of money and a lot of people to invest in more startups and uh, in the, 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 the Brazil. Uh, we have a like, I don't know, say English, but we have a, like a tesis, uh, like a checklist. Uh, what startups uh, become to us, we have a checklist and uh, these startups pass in the checklist, we invest in these startups, right? For example, uh, one is the checklist. These startups have to, no minimal one, one uh, co-founder full-time in the operation. Uh, another is uh, having a minimal one client to pay for your product. So you have so many checklists you need to check for we investors. Yeah, cool. So basically now you invest in two startups in this association, right? This association, yes. But I have uh, about uh, out the, the, the association, I have two, two investors in another startups I invest in, uh, in particular. Right. Okay, cool. And so what is your main target? What is your main focus? Who is your, uh, like right now, uh, industry which you invest or you focus on? If you can share something. Uh, I like, I, I like to invest in, 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 in startups have uh, the market B2B. Eh? Business to business, B two C, business to to clients, to customer is for me is more difficult to help this startup because my knowledge for my life is B two B, business to business, and uh, this stage I like to invest is uh, 
startups companies is uh, growth uh, now not not for uh, scale but growth we need to for example money for uh, hiring some end employees or uh, money for putting my market in my commercial uh, to sell more so uh, when a startup is more early stage more new is better for me invested Cool. So uh, maybe you can share more um, story about the whole background of uh, in Brazil. Like, is it like really developed market investment market in Brazil? Like, how many investors do you know? Like, in a close circle or like in general, how many investors right now in Brazil? Is it like popular niche? Like you say, what do you mean? Uh, like how money? How, how, uh... Uh, yeah, I want to ask you, like in comparison to Europe, for example, or in America, right? It's like really popular uh, to invest in uh, startups. So it's like if you go to an, any tech conference, you can find like a lot of investors. But because right now, I kind of knew in here, like I was only in startup conference in Floripa and in Porto Alegre in uh, South Summit. So I met some of them, but I don't know. It's like, is it like really common to meet here investors or not really? Uh, hey, you, you you not met so many because don't have so many in Brazil. <laughs> it's a new thing here. Uh, I think a couple five years started the investment startups in Brazil. And now uh, these years is more growth for these investments. So you you've really not met so many, so many investors to uh in the in, in the brazil uh, but i don't know if compared to to abroad brazil like europe or america uh the 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 uh what is uh, uh what is uh the number eh? you have the, this this investor i think american europe is is better man is is heavy have a lot of investor but the brazil we start now so the Compare for so many regions in the Brazil, for example, in the south, in Santa Catarina or Porto Alegre, you say, uh, and São Paulo is that the best, best uh, uh, areas you 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 look you look for more investor. Cool. So, is it even possible to find investor like in the north of Brazil, or is like all concentrated here in the south, like in São Paulo, Porto Alegre? Uh, Uh, yes, São Paulo down is 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 more focus. Uh, it's more focus because uh, São Paulo is is a big big city. Right? It's uh, like uh, another country inside the Brazil. Right? Have a lot of things in, in São Paulo, but uh, I think it's because the São Paulo, São Paulo, Curitiba, Santa Catarina, uh, Rio Grande do Sul is the best because is the majority uh, PIB brasileiro. Right? PIB brasileiro is like a, a, a percent of more people uh, work in the, this region. So when more people work, is investor look, look more, eh? see more for this region for investor. Okay, may I ask a direct question because I think it's be really uh, important and interesting for many people. Is it like possible uh, for Uh, like foreign companies to be invested by uh, Brazilian investors in this fund? Like, is it like, do you have some uh, criteria that you cannot invest on uh, foreigners or is it not really important that you can invest to any anybody from any country? No, do you have, do you have a, a, a little criteria, I think, but is uh i think is a is a school is a for uh, investor for hard brazil no problem uh, for example i have a friend um uh, he's a brazilian he's living in brumenau sul in santa catarina and now he's living in his his change for life for a canadian uh, for uh have a like a accelerator business in canada is a same to investor and uh She's moved né, to to Canada to trying to produce your to build your uh, build your product your startup in the Canada. Right? Uh, but it's a new one things for for Brazilian uh, trying to uh, to go out to receive investments. Right? 
Yeah, yeah, sure. But what about like if, for example, uh, I don't know, from Europe, someone come to you and try to, uh, even they have some company there in like Germany or Italy, whatever. So they want to come to Brazil and they want to build something in Brazil. Is it like possible to work with the here? No, it's impossible. For example, if you, you move to, to Brazil or you, you just uh, look for investors to put in Europe. No, no, I'm talking about in Brazil, like you want, you have already company there, but you want to now build something in Brazil, but you want to, to find investors in Brazil as well, like in local market. Yeah. So no, it's a, it's a problem. It's, it's, yes, it's, it's sure, sure. It's no problem. Just, just have so many criteria you need to do, like a checklist. But uh, if it come to Brazil, we stay in Brazil for production and stuff up here, no problem. Okay, but do you know any example of this? Like someone come to Brazil and it's happened? No, man, I don't have uh, early, a startup early stage. No, uh, I don't. I, I never seen this this little one. I what I saw uh, in the past have a Brazilian uh, build a startup in the I think is American, uh, but uh, don't work because don't have market. Uh, in America, and come back to Brazil and invest here. But the, this guy is Brazilian. Come out and come back. No? Okay. Um, may I ask you this question? Is like how many your friends, investors know English? Is it like really big deal with them to speak Portuguese? Or is it like possible to communicate with investors uh, in English? Uh, do you do you mean uh, investor guys or startups or investor? I think both. Like for example, like right now I met you, right? You speak English, so we can communicate. But if I want to find uh, other money in, in the local market, probably I should know Portuguese. It should be like really hard. Yeah. In, in truth, man, I just met one guy. <laughs> Is uh, I think I think you met these guys in yeah. front of this Rafael. Yeah, 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 sure. I met everyone from uh, English here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think just Rafael is speaking English. He's speaking, he speaks a lot too. Uh, I, I don't know another investor having this. Uh, uh, well, I know so many like uh, pop star investors, you know, have, for example, uh, what is the one? His name is. Uh, name, name. I don't remember his name, but he's a pop star guy. He's uh, the first to invest in the Brazil. Right, investor abroad, Brazil too, but this is a difficult guy to to meet. Right? It's not too simple. Right? Okay. So, what's the best approach for startups uh, for investors? Like, what usually, uh, like, how you uh, you can find uh, investor here in Brazil? Like, is it only LinkedIn, or you have other options, other resources where you can communicate with founders? Uh, <clears throat> for Finding in startups to invest uh, is a difficult because, uh, for example, about S. Angels Association of Investors we have, uh, we did uh, in the last years, we do too, uh, a lot of marketing and the commercial, uh, for example, for participating in any events to divulge this, uh, you, our market for. Uh, so many startups, so many people met this. Uh, oh, I know about S Angels, is an investor association. So, uh, and uh, for looking for for searching more startups to invest or is more difficult. So, I can't find, for example, in LinkedIn. Ah, oh, I need a startup to invest. On. Uh, you, you, you can't find this, this thing, this situation. So, the best, the best way. Uh, is promote uh, your market, for example, your investor, uh, talk about and uh, like uh, so many speakers in events or participate in so many events and divulge and put your market uh, in the, our people to see. That's the best way when you, you're looking for startups to invest. Right?
Yeah. Do you have a shortage startups right now? Like, is it uh, in each um, industry right now? What I see in the conference, it was like FinTech, you, you have like a lot of startups. In AgroTech, you have also like a lot of startups. Like, do you have shortage in some industry, which like you can see from investor point of view? Or is like everywhere is a lot of startups and the like locals one? Oh, not really. Mm, depends. Uh, because because depends on the criteria and the checklist, for example. If you have idea to invest in just local startups, you don't you don't look for more more far away right, about just local. Right? When you have idea to for example uh, invest in uh, so many abroad is okay, you approach more. But why do you need to have this focus on local startups? Is it like uh, requirements or is just the, your own uh, idea to like focus on some Katarina startups? Like what is the difference? Good question. Uh, it's just because we need to make like a test, you know, just focus now for three years just to local. Uh, if you're okay, it's produce, so you can invest, so you can find so many startups, okay. We grow for more for North uh, Brazil, for example, uh, around uh, Sao Paulo, Curitiba, right? Uh, but it's a more a testing for local uh, compared to what world I need to start up. So. Okay, so, and what is the amount of money you can invest right now? What is uh, your stage? Uh, the... The startups is with stage is our stage. You, you like you what I mean that thing. Yeah, I mean uh, like you invest only in the early stage startups, like like I don't know up to ten thousand, one hundred thousand dollars, or like what is the stage you invest uh, in startups? Uh, the early stage is the the first. Uh, we don't invest in more this. Uh, if if your startup comes to, to us, it, oh I know I I, I need a series. VC series is not investor, just a stage. Uh, in the check, check is the money, né? Money we have, I think is 1,000, no, it's not 1,000. Let me check here in one round. Is uh, ah, 500 reais is the limit of the money we put in startups. Right? And uh, is early stage. Uh, you have just uh, one one co-founder or two co-founders, sorry. Uh, early stage, uh, 500 rice. Maybe five, simple. 500 rice. Five, 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 500 rice. Five so 500, no, 5,000. 5,000 rice. Oh, yeah. So because 5,000 5, is yeah. too low. Oh, yeah. uh, so is it minimum, but what is your maximum? Maximum is five five hundred thousand reais. In the minimum, oh, yeah. uh, in the minimum, uh, in the minimum is the minimum. Don't have, don't have minimum. Oh, yeah. so it's from oh, yeah. five hundred thousand reais to maximum. All right. So and in order to be uh, in your shortlist, you sh I should register a company in Santa Catarina. Or I sh or is like what is the lo local uh, requirements? Is like I should register company here, or I should build like an office here, like open an office? No, we have not a local office, but your registration in uh, South. So you put Santa Catarina, Rio Grande do Sul, or Paraná, the three three states. Okay, but do you know about like in the north of the Brazil, you have like this kind kind of area where you don't need to pay taxes like it's tax-free zone in uh close to recify i'm not sure this is say this is like for foreigners it's better to build or like to open company there because you don't need to pay taxes corporation taxes so is it like no yeah no no it's not it's not because that's just because we needed to uh 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 a media uh, make a best way for for our ecosystem uh, in here in here south south of Brazil. Uh, but for example, if you have uh, if you have a company in uh, Santa Catarina or I don't know Paraná, and you sell your product for north to Brazil, is is okay. We invest in. Uh, yeah. 
Okay. Um, may I ask you about um, current market? Like, do you see any switch in the current um, current market? Like, what kind of startups right now popular in investments uh, in Brazil? Like in Brazilian market, uh, what is like what is now something new? What is wasn't before like a year ago? Do you mean like a sector investor? Sector, yeah, sure. So like an industry, what is popular right now? Mm, I don't have this number, but the majority of uh, startups came to us is about uh, financial, uh, sector financial, health tax, have a lot, and uh, edu tax, education. Education. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So is it mostly education for children or adults, like university? Mm, have a both, have a both, but I think uh, a little more for children. A little more for children. All right. All right. So um, maybe you can share with us, I don't know, is it like possible these requirements for startups? Like, uh, because you mentioned that you have, like, we have just 10 minutes left. But what I mean is uh, you mentioned about like one co-founder should be full-time. It should be registered in like local community, like in Santa Catarina. But maybe you have like these requirements, which I can share with other people so they can be uh, maybe aware of this all the requirements. Yeah, no problem. I, I, I don't remember the wall requirements, but we have a list. And I, I send a list for you and you search for your, for your friends. It's no problem. I send a list for you. Oh, perfect, perfect. All right. So uh, maybe my uh, friends can ask some questions if they have, if they want to know something. Uh, kind of, I ask most of my questions, which I want to know. Everybody live abroad in Brazil or live in Brazil? Uh, I know the Karina is now in uh, Sao Paulo, right? Uh, Sao Paulo. No. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. No more. <laughs> no. no, I'm in Mexico. Ah, Mexico. Yeah. Okay. So, I had a no. few questions, but you already asked them. <laughs> Maybe you can ask something else. Like, I know, Victor, I know you want to know something because you have some tech project here. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, basically, like, I'm not sure if something you can like reply. It's very wide question, but uh, uh, maybe you have some very general insights about the Brazil market for non-Brazil founders. Let's say, okay, I'm in the BTC uh, uh, project, and uh, I not so much localized my product uh, for the Brazilian. I mean, of course it's uh, like translated, but for example, in the past I had experience in Asia, in Thailand, in Malaysia. And uh, I know that when you build a project and especially when you approach on the marketing, you do a lot of like something very market specific uh, because of the cultural thing, because of the some, I don't know, payments and finance specifics and so on. So maybe at least we have very uh, not so much time, but maybe you can give us at least something like what you think. Okay, what what do you think all the international startups missing when they trying to approach Brazil, and what are they missing in terms of like market specifics in the BTC area? Uh, I I don't have so many knowledge about this 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 area. It's a good question. I need to study more. Uh, I confess. <laughs> But, but uh, the, when, when you told about uh, B2C markets, is B2C markets the world world? Right? You can put your products world world B2C. Uh, I think it's a difficult because you have a, a lot of people to consume your product for your product to grow. Right? And there are so many, so many times the, the, the tickets, the, the tickets you, you are. Uh, Client to pay for you is not so high right, compared to B two C, right? So is that is a is a, a, a little difficult? The so many startups focus in B two C to growth right? because I need a lot of people to consume my product to pay for I growth. When you change this 
uh, this mind and uh, you talk about uh, ah, I change I need to change for B2B B2B have a more high tickets uh, to pay for you so you more security for financial startups for your business and you looking for more far more more, more further uh, compare uh, be, because you have money uh, have money to grow to invest in your in your uh, company uh, so it depends what you, you you focus your startups is more difficult to compare B two C and B two B. I see. I, I can maybe enlarge this exchange, um, make it bigger this question because uh, I think uh, most of us, like from Europe point of view, we see the uh, local market is uh, kind of poor, right? It's like locals, like they're not really uh, not available to pay pay. Uh, the same uh, the same amount of money f- like in Europe and in the US. So in this case, like B two B, kind of really hard to to sell here because it's like usually higher price, higher cost. And like maybe you have some advice how to approach locals here if you like if you are B two C market uh, if you if you have B two C uh, product and you try to find uh, clients here. What is the best channel uh, like? I know to use uh, what is the best um, way to uh, maybe promote your product. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe uh, compare this. You can find so many partners, right? Uh, because, for example, if I build a new startups in Brazil to sell for American or Europe, I I don't know because I I don't met any guys for consuming my product abroad. Right. So I need to look for more little partners for helping me to do this, the, 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 the sell team. Right? And uh, I, I don't know about tips, right? uh, uh, <laughs> tips about uh, what you need to do. It's, it's more you search, you study more marketing, uh, trying to make so many partners and trying to try to fix so many, uh, we call the Brazil canais, uh, can- and nice the vendors is uh, like a partner sales uh, in so many sectors in the company to the sectors sec- sectors sell for you uh, I have product and you you sell for me my product uh, and then you get a percent per per, per per seller cool cool yeah this is good advice probably maybe if you know some um, where we can find them where is it like what's the what's the no, uh, name of this uh People can canais 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 de vendas canais de vendas. Oh, it's like in, oh yeah, in vendors. Okay, see, yeah, uh, probably this is good advice that like we can find them and uh, or maybe the way how to find them. Yeah, I uh, we have just three minutes. If you guys have some question, we can ask uh, or we can uh, yeah say thank you for your time. Oh, uh, I don't know you you uh, got. I and uh, you have so many so many meetings for your yeah uh, help your friends. What, what you do? No. What you do to do? Yeah, it? it's a community. Like I built a like, big community, it's like four hundred people. Now it probably is going to be like five hundred soon. Uh, so I built uh, foreign companies to come, not only Brazil but all other uh, parts of the world. So I teach them how to sell. I found them like this Canaris uh, vendors, whatever. Uh, investors, anybody. So I, I connect people. So I connect sales, uh, I connect clients, and I try to organize this lead generation process for them. So this is like we educate them how to do this in a more easy way, more faster way. So this mm, is fair. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah, because uh, maybe maybe I can I can talk with half uh, about this this project you have. So many help you another another way. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Rafa is yeah. a good guy. He's he's like too much to help people. Maybe he's a good idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I see, it's like right now, it's a lot of focus on Brazil market, and it's like if if it's possible to organize something together, it'd be awesome for everyone. It'd be awesome for local market, for local economy, and it's gonna be really awesome for all you guys who like watching us right now because. A lot of people want to reach uh, Brazil market. They don't know anything. They don't know anybody. And just they need to, a little help. And it's not really money help. It's like just uh, help with uh, introduction. 
like introduction with each other. That's it. So, you stay you stay here in uh, Fronac yet? Yeah. yeah, I'm still here. What's what's a long time? You stay here more? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to stay here for a couple of months as well. In like late, yeah. Okay. We can meet. Okay. We can meet later. Like I think you you still in some arena. So yeah. Uh, so many times we go to uh, for an opera in the in the back. Uh, in the, in the mouth. So many... Two weeks I'm going to Porto Alegre for Awiaska ceremony. Uh, yeah, this is an idea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Like when I come back, uh, when I go, like I'm going to be in October and September here, but in November probably in Mex in Colombia probably already. Okay. Okay. No problem. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, man, very much for your time, and thank you, guys, that you joined me today. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Take care, man. Bye, bye, man. See you soon. Bye. Yeah.